Well, the term, as I understand, first came into use around 1796 to describe the remnant of a leftover bolt of fabric. So it really has its roots in textiles as being the, the leftover bit on a, on a bolt. But now it's come to mean anything that is uh, a fragment or a leftover, frequently an odd one, more often than not. I'm interested in, in an odd displaced object. My eyes are searching and looking and finding wherever I'm walking, whether it's the streets or the woods or a garden or in India or Japan or wherever, these odd bits, fragments of things that are, have been discarded or are just there on the ground. I started doing this maybe about five years ago, thinking really uh, conceptually about what a skin is and how I might bring that notion to altering or recontextualizing an object that I had. By re-skinning it, I can again enhance that, that kind of sense of curiosity or displacement or uncanniness and bring your attention back to, well, what was this originally and then what in the world does this become with this new um, surface on it? I had just never seen these extraordinarily extreme and really violent cloud formations before. And they were so, um, also a kind of oddment. They were unusual in their shape and formation. And then after taking those pictures, I took them down through Photoshop and augmented them, sort of heightened uh, a lot of those qualities of drama in, in the clouds um, in ways also I think that allow the clouds to become perhaps read as sea or sand or some other kind of fluid. I think it pushes them just to the edge that they, they, they lose their immediate identity of cloud and suggest again these other possible narratives. I'm not interested in literal narrative. I'm not interested in literally telling a story. An object is mute, it doesn't speak, but hopefully the objects take on a voice that um, tells a, a, a kind of story, but not a traditional story, not one that has a beginning, middle, and end, but suggests the possibility of a narrative.